There was a time when men were kind, when their voices were soft and their words inviting. There was a time when love was blind and the world was a song and the song was exciting. There was a time then it all went wrong, like me singing this song. Okay, all right, that's enough. I can I. I can't be uh, freaking Susan Boyle, but hey, if you guys didn't see that, make sure you YouTube that crap. My God, when you look at her, never judge a book by its cover, and hopefully we don't do that by this cast tonight. I'm going to be your host. My name is Anger, and in the co-pilot cool seat, the big man himself, six foot four of white chocolate, Eric Wansom Polly. What's up, Wansom? You know, it was weird, like a whole bunch of blood <laughs> rushed towards my pelvic re region when uh, you started singing. It was crazy, dude. But, I gotta say, I am not a Susan fan, man. She is not the original. If you guys don't know who Paul Potts is, he was the original oh, yeah, yeah. ugly person that could sing. Now, back to what we're going to be doing tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Some Sivo COD 4 action here, Superior and Blight. Going to be a good one, Anger. Absolutely. But before we get to the particulars... Let's make sure we invite and let the people know who's doing the video. The man, the myth, and definitely a legend. My man Limek from Canada. What's going on, Limek? Um, I would say key already in use is what's happening tonight. Um, I, I particularly, <laughs> personally blame Oprah joining Twitter as being the cause of this massacre to my COD4 account, but uh, thanks, I found myself a new key, and so I can hack like the rest of the kitties now. <laughs> all right, all right, that's the way to do it. All right, now let's get to the particulars, why you guys tuned in to watch this match, and I know it's definitely not for myself or Wansom or Limek, but for these two teams, first, uh, they just got the knife round done, so it looks like they're going to be uh, changing it up, and it looks like we're going to have... Uh, superior on the defense here and then blight will be on the attack again this is for the Sevo O upper bracket finals here round number five on MP vacant in case you guys don't know what map this is but this is going to be a very fun map I love this match only own map only because it's so close knit and a lot of see a lot of sweaty men just fighting it out in the hallways and crapper areas and uh, we'll get to the particulars of this map uh, in a little bit but for the starting lineups first for superior we have kaju the kid and the kid is razor so we will say the kid in case you don't know but that is razor we have tuck swag on is my man the titans fan himself the impaler and of course we have enforcer and for the attack side which will be blight we have kb failer crazed illusion and phantom so those are your starting fives. We have war rooms. And in case you want to get shoutouts across the airwaves, you can do that by going to pound e rev on the Game Surge Network. Make sure you hit up myself, Anger, or want some. And sometime during the match, we will get to you and your shoutouts. Now, Eric, take it away on the first round, my friend. Go, Pablo, go. And uh, we'll take a look here again. Uh, we're going to have Blight on the offensive here. And uh, this is an awesome map, ladies and gentlemen. I love this map. Tons of scopes, tons of SMGs going at it. Definitely an offensive side of map. One of the few uh, in Call of Duty 4. So we'll take a look here as Superior is on the defensive and on the crappy side right now as they are down 5-2. to uh, Going to be Swag on and Kaju still up as Kaju falls to an AK from Failer. And that'll be all up to Swag on here who is the Impaler. Ooh. And uh, it's going to be one and nothing very early on here to Blight. And uh, i got to say, Anger, we watched both of these teams play on City Streets. Uh, Blight played against uh, Blindside, and we saw Superior play a very, very, very close match uh, up against, um, I believe it was Buddha Tribe. I casted that one. Uh, Tuck, with an amazing performance when they were down 14 to 11, uh, came back and won them that match single-handedly. And uh, Blight as well, Failer, played very, very well against uh, B-Side Anger. So a lot of big names on this match. Yeah, we had uh, Blight. As you were saying, beat B-Side 16-9, and a Superior beat Buddha Tribe in OT, which the one you cast it in is in the E-Rev archives in case you missed it, and that was 16-15. to 15. And I believe they won that in the first OT. I is that correct, Eric? Yes, indeed. 
All right, all right. So we get back here to the action right now as it looks like it's going to be a little 3v3 action here as uh, we're going to take a look at Faller, Failer, and I'm probably going to butcher his name and I'm probably going to hear about it after the cast, but that's okay. Uh, Illusion here is working his way off the dock area into the A bomb site area. He's going to be the bomb bitch uh, from the start here for Blight. Now, Blight is going to be uh, getting this plant uh, right about now, and they do. So the pressure now is right back on Big Tuck. Let's see what Big Tuck can do, and it is absolutely nothing. Blight coming out of the gates very strong here. It is now 2-0, to zero. and we were talking, I, I know it's in chat, uh, Wantsum, that they some teams have have uh, scrimmed both of these teams, and they feel Blight is a little bit stronger. And with the early rounds thus far, it is showing that Blight is a little strong here, and they're really uh, dominating, at least from the start, uh, Superior. And uh, you might have to change the uh, Superior name to Blight if it keeps going this way, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, it's a little too early to tell, in my opinion, as far as this map's concerned. It is extremely offensive sided. We've always seen it to be that way, uh, except in a few really odd matches where we saw awesome defense from teams and just really crappy offense. But, uh, you know, it's not unusual for teams to almost win out on the offensive side. Now, uh, you get three to four rounds on the defensive side, and you've got a fighting chance. You get five to six, uh, you're sitting pretty damn pretty, uh, for lack of better words, going into that offensive side. So uh, right now, Crazed is Crazed. He's going to get a double kill there. Kaju and Impaler going down all up to the big Tuck now. Bomb planted, and Tuck is going to fall to Phantom there. So a 3-0 start here for Blight. Wow. And uh, it's, it's going to be tough for uh, Superior to build any kind of momentum here on the defensive anger. And you've got to think, uh, because Blight has the momentum coming in off the offensive side, defense might be that much easier for him. Yeah, and, and what we've noticed here, at least uh, two rounds of these uh, three, Blight has come out with a, what I like to call a team ace. No one has died on that side. So uh, very good, at least from Blight's perspective here early off. And uh, right now we have Crazed in the dump, in the crap area now what I've seen here is that it looks like we have superior holding off a little bit here as uh, again the, the main area you want to control on this map is the crappers or file cabinet area and blight has done that by uh, crazed being in that particular area and there he goes taking out enforcer so uh, right now it's gonna be Kaju and Tuck and Kaju is down and Tuck's down and again Another team ace here, and it's 4-0, to zero. so you're going to have to wonder here what Superior is going to have to do. We're going to go right to War Room. We're going to go to Superior, and let's listen in and see what they're going to come up with. Limek, let's go! You have, you have bad spawns. Maybe next round. Every day I'm hustling. My bad. They flash bathroom, I can't see anything. Snake down, snake down. Dude, where's the smoke? It's bathroom mid, mid, mid cap. Mid caps. Behind you, behind you, Andy, I can't see him. I I'm know where he is. One's mid. Calm down. Two front A, two front A. Dance Come flanking. This guy at Africa. Are you fucking serious? Egypt, 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 Egypt. Nice. All right, there we go. There we go. Like All right, we'll come back here as, uh, you know, maybe we're the good luck charm here for the superior team angers. They pick up a round when we go to War Room there. It's now 1-4, to four and uh, it's that's a good early round for them, to be honest with you. They figured out the offense uh, coming from Blight there. Blight did a little something a little bit different there. Uh, they split a couple guys towards the B side. Tuck took care of one of them, and uh, that was a big, big issue there for the Blight team. So uh, we'll take a look here at uh, Blight this round as they're going to get a couple kills, and Kaju uh, going to get a nade kill there on Failer. Uh, so this will be a Blight round thus far. It's going to be a 3v4, 3v3 now, all tied up. Kaju and Tuck main with a pair of kills, and uh, this one is in the defense's favor right now as it's going to be uh, KB and Illusion right now. We'll take a look at KB playing on the dock area with the scope, and uh, Illusion going to get a kill on Swagon. That is Impaler playing on top of the fridge there, and uh, Tuck is all the way in bathrooms. He has a teammate at back barrels. Illusion with the kill on Tuck. A uh, little bit too much noise there from the Tuck main, and uh, Bomb is going to be headed towards the B side here, Anger. So we'll take a look as uh, Kaju is the last defender still remaining now, and uh, he's going to be firing into the A hall. He has to know they're headed towards the B site now. Bomb is being planted, and uh, this will be a successful plant. 45 seconds left on the clock here. Kaju in mid, 1v2 situation. Does he have it here as uh, he is 3 and 4 now? Uh, we'll take a look here as he's going to take his time. 30 seconds now left on the clock. KB watching uh, the short B hall from the long B hall. 
And uh, Illusion sitting back and trying to wait for somebody to peek from the uh, drywall area. Firefight here. Uh, Kaju gets a headshot on Blight KB. So it's 1v1 now. Plenty of time left on the clock here. Illusion going to get the kill, though, on Kaju. Nice try. No cigar. 1-5. to five. You know, okay, one of the things here is I was looking at that round, and uh, Superior's going to have to clean this up if they want to progress a little bit longer here in this match. Uh, crazed right now. I in the, on the scoreboard, he's 8-2, and two, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why. He's getting into the crapper area very, very quick, and, and uh, Superior needs to stop that uh, if they want to, again, want to halt this and get some rounds in their favor. So uh, right now we have, oh, and there it is, Phantom taking out. Uh, the uh, razor right there. So right now it's going to be Phantom. Oh, Tug taking him out. So right now Superior has three members alive here. A little 3v3 action here as Failer gets taken out by Andy, uh, the Impaler. So uh, Illusion, KB for Blank going up against Kaju and Impaler. Oh, there's Impaler getting taken out by the Nade. So Big Tuck and Kaju now going up against Illusion and KB. Illusion again, uh, the bomb bitch here into the A site. Let's see what he can do here. He's going to get the uh, smoke deployed around that area. Uh, let's see here as he's moving very slowly, trying to get that plant down. 58 seconds working against him. Kaju trying to do a little Euro action there. Nothing going there. He gets taken out uh, by Illusion, and Tuck takes him out right back. So 1v1 here, and let's see here who's going to be uh, take, getting advantage of this. KB as the scope uh, going up against Big Tuck. Big Tuck laying out, peeking a little too much there, and he gets taken out by KB. Booyah! That's what we call a sack lunch. Nom, 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 nom. Want some? <laughs> all right, real quick. The man that does all the lands is in the channel. Mayday, what's going on? I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Anger that uh, Mr. Failsauce only gave me one Teams of the War room. So, uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. All right, we'll get that taken care of. As again, we have another match coming up tonight, late night on Erev. Uh, another COD 4 com match coming up that is going to be uh, Mayday casting that one, as well as, uh, I believe, Starbuck and a couple others. So, after this one, make sure you guys stay tuned. We might be multicasting, not sure, as uh, we'll be bringing you guys two COD 4 matches tonight in this round right now. Uh, in the favor of nobody, as I fail on that call. Uh, right now it's going to be a 3v4 in favor of Blight. Uh, we're going to have Kaju swag on Tuck still up here for Superior. A lot of walling going on here. Kaju with a great shot on KB there. Smoke up on the A-bomb. Let's find that bomb for you guys. Bomb is in the a site. That's Illusion. He's going to hold this one and uh, see if he can get the plant down without smoke going away. It's going to be close. He gets it off. Swag him mm. with a double kill. Uh, that's Razor there. Phantom oh answers right back, though. Two double kills in a row. Double anger, as that's four kills in about two seconds there, and another round of the offensive. Okay, let's take a look, closer look here at the e Rev scoreboard. We have Kaju uh, coming in at 7-7. Seven and seven. We have uh, the Impaler coming in at 6-7, and seven, and Big Tuck coming in at 4-7. Four, four Blight. Now this is just a day of reckoning. Phantom right now, 10 and 4. KB coming in at 8 and 4. And Craze also coming in at 8 and 4. It's just amazing right now the way that Blight is maneuvering on this map with ease. And uh, right now it is going to be 4v4. So let's get back here as Big Tuck gets taken out there by Phantom with the 74. So let's take a look here. Uh, Limey at Failer. Failer on the A dock area as Andy takes out the illusion there. So uh, it's going to be a little 3v2 action here. The women advantage going to Superior. So as Failer moves back for Blight a little bit, we have Enforcer holding off the B area. Uh, we have Andy just laying off by the A bomb site. Uh, Razor now holding off into the back kitchens, overlooking the B bomb site as KB now as the scope trying to get a blind shot through the smoke. Nothing there. So it uh, looks like Blight may be possibly moving to the B bomb site as Failer now takes out. Uh, Andy, as uh, Andy, uh, the Impaler was getting a little impatient coming off the dock there. Uh, he should have just laid off and still stayed in his place now. So let's take a look again at Failer as he's holding off the dock area. And KB now w just overlooking the area. A lot of slow play here. Obviously a lot um, at stake here. A little 2v2 action again. 29 seconds here working against Blight. Let's see what they can do. Smoke being deployed around the A bomb site. So they're going to make their decision and go in into the A site. Again, KB laying off. Failer now. Oh, he kills his teammate. What a fail sauce there. He drank a little. As a Failer now just failed himself. Trying to get some shots. No, oh, he gets taken out by Enforcer. 7 to 2. And he's probably kicking himself in the ass as we speak. Right now, we're going to go to Blight's war room. War room. Let's go. Parce qu'il nous donne okay, la toilette aller. à cette heure, il nous la donne. Ok, ok. Je vais aller rusher d'abord, euh, fronter. Personne, bah, personne en haut, personne en haut, il, il joue vraiment slow. Attendez, on va les aider. Je suis une salle. Je plante tout de suite, je plante tout de suite. Back up, back up. Je plante, je plante, c'est planté. Oh 
Oh shit, on l'a bien eu là. Deux down back! Ouais. Ok, un dans le mid, tu flingues, un dans le mid, tu flingues. J'allais, j'allais le flingue, j'allais le flingue. Arrêtez de plus fire pour rien. Ça vient. Qui est qui est six barrel là? Ah, bah, bah, ma crainte, toi. Les deux sont genre d'admin. Euh, ça va, beefcase. J'ai l'inside, j'ai la door inside. Un bon fight, un bon fight. Good job. Craze. <laughs> That's a name. Oh my god. Craze with the wow. double kill. And he is lighting up the board again. This kid cannot be stopped right now. He is 14 to 5. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am all over his nuts. It's ridiculous. Want some? He aced that round. I just checked that. That was five kills for Craze there. That's ludicrous. Oh my goodness. That's that's pretty ridiculous. It's a double kill from KB. He's going to get Kaju and Tuckbane with a double scope shot there. That hurts the defense quite a bit. That round was over before it started. And uh, it's oh. going to be two to nine now. That hurts. That's, uh, that's a momentum shifter right there. I don't usually like to talk ahead of time, but right now, Blight is taking the biggest crap on Superior as we speak, and Superior is just taking it uh, like no other, and they're going to have to really change things up here. Now, I hope, I mean, I just hope that they can figure this out here, because right now, uh, Blight is just coming in with no regard, and really, I, the way I'm seeing it, wants them really no respect for Superior's uh, defense whatsoever. I mean, this is just ridiculous the way they're playing, and Craze is just raping kids right now. But Craze is all by himself, so let's take a look at him, Lamek, as Craze now in the crapper area. Again, that's his area as of late. He has just been taking control of the file cabinets and bathroom area. So let's see what as he maneuvers here uh, through the courtyard. It's going to be Craze going up against Impaler, Kaju, and Tuck. Now, Impaler is very experienced here, coming from the Cebo P side, so he knows what's going on. Let's hope the patience doesn't get it the best of him as he's laid out by the oil uh, dumpsters here, oil cans outside of, near, of the... Uh, a sight here as he does take out Craze there. Nice job uh, to pick up around four Superior. So it is now nine to three here, Wansom. Again, a very big lead for Superior to overcome, possibly. Def they need to win these next two rounds, Anger, to have any kind of uh, hopeful momentum headed into the offensive side. Because if they go in, uh, you know, 12 to, I'm sorry, I can't count, 12 to three or something like that. Uh, you know, the, it just takes one round from the de defense from Blight to end this game, in my opinion. Uh, they get one round early on defense. It's going to shift the momentum in their favor. Uh, so we'll take a look here as we have uh, <coughs> Impaler pushed all the way out. He's going to get killed by Failer there, uh, who finally kills somebody other than his teammate. As I'm sure that <laughs> one's going to haunt them if they end up losing this. And uh, we'll take a look at the EREF scoreboard rundown here. Uh, we're going to have Superior uh, Swag on. That is the Impaler at 14 and 11. Kaju, 7 and 11. Uh, five from Tuckman, a four from Enforcer, and uh, I believe uh, a two coming from the kid there. So the kid, again, Anger, we watched him on City Streets. He was like 23 and 13 at halftime, and he did not get another kill for nine rounds. So uh, he's starting off wow. cold here. Maybe he'll pick it up in the second half uh, as Blight takes yet another round there. And uh, i got to say that uh, this is do or die for Superior right here winning this round. Yeah, and right now I feel kind of bad. I mean, if Impaler, like he uh, likes to co-cast with us here at E-Rev, I mean, he would even agree right now that they're, they're, this team is playing like crap. And hopefully, again, like I said, hopefully they can overcome this because right now, again, Impaler is really carrying it uh, as we speak. So, uh, you know, the rest of the team really needs to step it up, especially Razor right now, the, a.k.a. the kid, coming in at 2 and 12, and Razor needs to pick it up big time because uh, his team is definitely going to need him here as Illusion now taking out uh, Razor there. So poor Kaju is all by himself, and he gets taken out by Faylor there, and it is now 11 to 3 as it gets extended a little bit more here. And I think this is going to be just a little too much to overcome here as, again, the winner of this will have a long vacation until they play the actual finals, but uh, the losing team will go to the loser's bracket. Wants them. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see either of these com teams come up through the loser's bracket. Uh, you know, I think they're both strong enough, and I think they could come back. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're not real sure what will happen. But uh, we'll take a look here at this round and uh, early advantage. Going to go to Blight here as Phantom takes down Enforcer there. Uh, Tuck into Phantom. Tuck has picked up the scope here. Now, he did so on City Streets. And, Tuck, I'm going to call you out on, on air here. Um, I don't know what the hell you were doing jumping on top of that wall at the A site. That didn't make sense to me. But uh, nonetheless, playing very well with the scope tonight. As uh, we're going to see Swag on, that's the Impaler and Razor here. The two aliases here are going to get a couple kills. Failer, last one standing, 1v2 Ooh. here. Swag on into Failer, 11-4. They needed that. They needed that big time. 
And uh, we got some calls coming out here from the teams claiming print screens and all kinds of stuff here. But, uh, you know, so far this has been a pretty clean match. Yeah, they're, they're getting a little uh, chippy in the in-game chat. And, uh, again, uh, the Impaler carrying it for most of his team here in the last uh, four rounds, I would say. So without him, I mean, this, this match would be even worse than what we're seeing right now. But, again, who knows? Maybe the offense will change, and hopefully they can exploit uh, Blight's defense or, or find at least a hole in it and, and exploit that hole. Uh, again, we'll see what happens here. We're going to go right to War Room here. We're going to go to Superior. So, Limey, let's go to Superior. Scope in, scope in. One cross, bathroom. Scope down, nice. scope down. I'm in A. Nice. Nice. Love you too. Bathroom. Destroyed. I got A hole. Bathroom. He's in A, he's in A, he's in A. Got him, got him. That's it. Planted. It's planted Africa side. Cabinets. Cabinets here, going bath. Cabinets, A hole. Rip. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're back. And that's what the doctor ordered for Superior. Take him out very quickly there, and they did. So it is now 11-5, to 5, still in the favor of Blight. But again, if they can pick up at least four rounds in a row here, you would have to think Superior would gain that big-time momentum and uh, you know try to use that against Blight. Let's see what happens here, Wansom. Take it away. I'll tell you right now, I don't think that Blight is worried. Uh, so to speak, it's too, you know, you're going to lose rounds on the defensive side of this map. Honest to God, you just got to hope you can hold on and get a couple of, uh, of rounds. I mean, there's real no, no real strategy to it. You just got to outshoot them, and that's exactly what Failer's doing right now. Three kills in a row, Kaju and the Kid, last one standing here. And the Kid, by the way, uh, was three and 13 and a half. He is now seven and 13, so picked up four rounds in that, or four kills in that first round. As uh, this is going to even out a little bit here. It's 2v3 now. Going to be Kaju and the Kid going up against Phantom, KB, and Illusion. Uh, the kid playing in the A hallway, graffiti hallway, bomb is by Docs. KB uh, playing back drywall. He's on uh, one of the tables, hops down there. Illusion playing front left A, and uh, Phantom playing the bathroom. So they have everything on lock here, and definitely, definitely have to have a pick come from uh, Kaju or the kid here. Kaju, again, played on a team with him. Illusion with a headshot onto him. Uh, Kaju, interesting enough, plays with an assault now, Anger, and I've played on a team with him for some time. Uh, the guy is an amazing SMG. And, uh, you know, he plays very, very well with an assault, particularly on strike. Uh, but uh, he's a lot more fun to watch with the SMG, so it's been interesting to see how it plays out for him. As this round will go to the defense, it's 12-5 to 5 now, 3 to overtime, 4 to a win for Blight. Yeah, they're looking very, very strong here. And I can't say enough how they're doing, how well they're doing here. And really, uh, just holding off Superior and really trying to, I mean, just preventing them from doing uh, anything that, you know, anything they need to do uh, to gain some rounds here. Just having some problems superior. And there's Krace taking out uh, Andy, and that's what you need to do there. Take out that top killer there uh, for superior. So it's not looking good here. Off to start, a little 4v4 action as KB gets taken out. But Krace there, taking out an enforcer as uh, things have been just heating up a little bit here around the A-bomb site. Let's see what Big Tuck can do as the scope. Uh, he's trying to overlook the A-bomb site. Nothing going there. We have the failure in the Crapper's area. And that's one thing here. Blight has defended the middle section of this map very well. So let's see if they can continue that. Kaju is the bomb bitch here for uh, Superior. Kaju trying to wall bang a little bit. Doing it Euro style, but nothing going there. As of right now, it's just Failer by himself. Big Tuck coming in also to give some support. And there's Kaju taking out Failer. It is now 12 to 6 as we have Superior inching a little bit closer here. Want some? They're inching closer, but they got a mile to go right now. And it, six rounds is a big spread, uh, especially in a match of this caliber here. We're seeing a lot of good players. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good strats coming from the offensive side. And the defense is just going oh. to hold on. KB with the early pick on Tuck there. And, uh, you know, that's a peak that you just you don't want to make on the offensive side uh, if you can't make it every time because you're going to lose rounds if you're not there uh, to make the picks into the A side for your team. So I wouldn't be surprised if this goes Blight's way uh, with a ton of smoke up here. Outside on the dock, Kaju trying to bang his way in there. Uh, kid playing in the A hallway. Uh, KB still looking for a scope shot. He's playing in back drywall. Kray's getting lit up, pre-fired from Kaju. That is an awesome line there as uh, he does get the kill on him at front barrels there. Uh, the kid is going to move back to the cabinet areas right now. They have control of the bathrooms. That's big for them. KB back in drywall. Illusion back in drywall. Phantom in A. Kaju with a nade kill on him. Kaju showing up big for his team right now at 14 and 14. Uh, definitely doing the majority of the utility work for his team as he is the bomb carrier. And now this has shifted back in the favor of Superior here. So the kid and the enforcer and Kaju still up going against Illusion and KB here. 
Uh, KB is going to continue watching the A side. Illusion as well. B is wide open. And uh, right now, Superior has to know something's up here. As Enforcer is watching Bathroom, Kaju is still on dock. The Kid uh, is still playing back in the short hallway towards the front entrance. So they have not moved to the B side. This is surprising and uh, could be a huge mistake for them as they're going to make their way in. Here comes the rush. KB with one kill. Enforcer going to push the scope here. And uh, Illusion going to get the kill. And KB into the Kid. And that was a big tactical error there from Superior Anger. That was their round to take if they wouldn't be, period. That was, that was a huge mistake on their part. They should have at least checked. Yeah, absolutely, and that may haunt them uh, when we get to the end of this match. They may be looking back on that particular round. Right now, we're going to head right to Blight's War Room. Limey, let's go! Don't worry. man. Attends, 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 je suis gay, attends, je suis gay. Calice, man. Par contre, il y a la haut, man. Ouais, ouais, attends. Vas-y tout de suite, là. Faut que tu prennes un pic, man. Ça va, B, ça va, B, Chris. I can tell. Ça plaît, B. C'est sûr qu'il y en a un à te prendre. Calice, dingue. Explosives planted. Il était où? Il était dans le mid. Si je t'en mort. T'es seul gros là, easy club. Il va se dépêcher. Il va être sur le dos. Ah, sur un autre. Si y'a. Oh, nice shot there by Big Tuck, taking out Crazes now, 13 to 7. And I got to give a little love here to the Impaler. It looks like Big Tuck has dropped the scope, and uh, Impaler, the all-utility man, has picked it up there. He, uh, he picked up a kill there to, uh, to help out the cause. So we'll take a closer eye at that and see if he's going to continue with the scope here. And as, uh, they're going to change up the strats a little bit. And yes, he has picked it up. So he's trying to get some blind shots into the uh, smoke area of the A boss site. Nothing going there. As Kaju now is working the dock area. So they're changing things up here. And they're trying to find uh, uh, something that works here. Wants them as a superior. Trying to find that winning combination. And, you know, they might be on the right track here. But still, I don't know if it's a little bit late for them to make their push. And uh, we'll see what happens. Blight definitely needs to win around here in, in some sort of... Uh, you know, uh, solid fashion. They need to win with some authority here to get a little bit of confidence back as uh, they've lost some close rounds here. We're going to have swag on. That is Impaler with the scope. Uh, <clears throat> making some good peaks. Kaju again with the set nades. Uh, he's been getting quite a few kills this half with those. That's a good tactical move there uh, by not showing himself again when he's the bomb man. He's coming up with kills. So that's always a good thing. And Superior going to take this round 13 to 8. And, uh, you know, right now it, it's about time for Blight to start to wonder if they're going to be able to pull this one out, Anger. Maybe not yet, but you, you might be right. Getting a little close to that stage, though, I would have to agree. Let's see if Superior can pick up this round, if, even if two rounds. And if that happens, Eric, we're going to have a different ball game here. And then the pressure will be definitely on right on Blight. Because, again, they had an enormous lead here, in case you've been watching, since the start of this match. And to have Superior come right back and gain those rounds back on the offense tells you a lot about the way Superior's offense is and how bad possibly uh, Blight's defense is here, Watson. But there it is, Razor taking out Illusion. And since we've been battering uh, the kid, a.k.a. Razor, uh, he has really definitely picked it up here. He's 11 and 18. Uh, again, he was 2 and 18 on the defensive side, so much love to him as he's trying to pick it up here for his team. Craze taking out uh, Razor as just as soon as we spoke about him here. As uh, There it is, another round for Superior and 13 to 9. And ding, 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 ding. Wants him. We might have a ball game here, my friend. Yeah, hopefully so. It's always better to cast a close match rather than a blowout. And uh, right now, pretty, pretty evenly matched teams. Again, it's a hard map to tell. Uh, because it is so offensive-sided, and both teams came very prepared. And uh, we'll see if Blight can pull something out here on the defense. Again, they're on the run right now, as uh, they've been losing round after round here, crazed with a kill into the kid there. Uh, trading nade kills very early, and if you're Blight right now, you got to stay away from the set nades. Uh, those have been the deciding factor right now, whether they're coming from Kaju, uh, Swag on Tuckman, whoever's throwing those. Uh, those have been early kills that have gave them a big advantage here on the offensive side right now. Crazed with a pair of kills is going to make this a 5v3 right now. Uh, we'll take a look here. As he is finally going to get set nade by Kaju again. That is his like fourth or fifth set nade there in the second half. So a big play from him. Failing mm. into the enforcer there, playing in bathroom. 
Um, that's They have control of the bathroom now, Anger, and I think that's going to be the deciding factor this round as it's a, a 4v2 here. Tuckman and Kaju playing back in front A uh, on top of the dock area right now. Kaju watching flank. they got to get a pick here, hope for a pick, and they're not going to get one as is now. It's all up to Kaju here with the bomb. Uh, smoke out on dock right now. He's firing wildly, trying to get somebody wildly, trying to get somebody to peek him here, and uh, he's going to get walled. Crazy wall shot there wow. coming from a deagle uh, from Phantom. And uh, Illusion playing front right. Failer going to get the kill on him from the A hallway. So 14 to 9 now, and uh, they're one round away from a tie ball game, two rounds from a victory. And uh, the 14 round, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't really call it a, an aura or anything like that, but now the pressure is all on Superior. Uh, because one round and all they can do is tie it. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't dis disagree with that statement. Again, the pressure is on Superior, and now we're gonna have to see how superior they are here. And uh, again, they're gonna have to pull some rounds out of their asses if they want to continue on. If not, they're gonna head to the losers bracket. Still have a chance in this uh, tournament or in this. Uh, well, yeah, tournament. Oh, there's Tuck taking out Enforcer. His own teammate, and when you thought Blight did it, here comes Superior taking out their own players. So right now, though, uh, we have four Superiors going up against Phantom, KB, and Illusion. So the one-man advantage here going to Superior, thus uh, Enforcer being taken out by his own guy. Tuck trying to do a little Euro action there, a little wall bang, nothing going there. As uh, a Blight, it looks like Phantom has backed off a little bit. So, uh, we have Andy here with the Deagle. No, he gets taken out by Phantom with the MP5. <laughs> Oh, what a shot. Phantom! Oh my, the, the double kill. Just so much action happening in the hallways here. As uh, right now we have KB still with the scope in the back here. Phantom taking out Tuck. So Kaju is the last man standing. Kaju right now. Oh, he takes out Illusion. Oh, he gets taken out by KB. 15 to 9 now in the favor of Blight. And this is pretty much over. You can pretty much kick some sand on Superior here. Uh, looks like they may be going to the loser's bracket here, Wansom. I don't want to quite bury him yet. Again, as long as you have some type of chance, you never know what could happen. But this is going to be slim pickings for them. Definitely, definitely. That, that was a round that was won uh, single-handedly there pretty much by Phantom. He won them this match, in my opinion as uh, I do not think that Superior will be able to come back from this. Phantom continues to impress as he gets the first kill of this round here, taking down Impaler. Uh, it's going to push it to a 5v4 in favor of the defense. Kid going to answer back into Failer, uh, so he is down. Going to be a 3v5, though. A uh, 3v4, my mistake, as Crazed Phantom, KB, and Illusion still up right now. The Kid and Kaju. Kaju again with the nade kills. He gets the nerd nade of the match award as he's gotten kill after kill as this pushes to a 2v1 now. Phantom uh, playing up against Kaju and the Kid here. Uh, Kaju going to fake plant. Look for a kill here towards A hallway, which is where Phantom is playing right now. He's going to peek in, get killed by the kid, and that's going to be 15 to 10. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be overly, overly surprised if we saw overtime, but uh, I, I'm calling this one right now for Blight. Ooh, all right, we're, we're, we'll see what Superior can do here off the start. And again, in case you just joined, this is the Sevo O round five or the upper bracket finals here between Blight and Superior. As right now it is 15 to 10 in the favor of Blight. Blight just needing that one round here to continue on uh, to the to the true finals here. As uh, we have KB taking out Razor there. Enforcer coming right back and taking out Failer. So a little 4v4 action here. As let's take a look here at Tuck. Lime, let's take a look at him as he's in graffiti hallway right now. As he's trying to uh, trying to get into the arrow. Nice shot there on Phantom with the AK uh, to help the cause here. The one man advantage here going to Superior as they're making their way into the A of bomb site. At least it looks that way. As uh, Andy there trying to get a shot, nothing going there. As Kaju again, the bomb bitch is going to try to get a little nade action going into the uh, A bomb site area and nothing going there. So smoke. A smoke's going to be deployed here in a few as Big Tuck is looking on the opposite end of the opening here of the A bomb site. Flashed uh, there as crazed now. Uh, see somebody jumping across the screen. No! Andy gets taken. He takes out Andy. Kaju taking out Illusion. And that is it! We have Superior picking up another round. It is 15 to 11. And the pressure. Oh, want some the pressure! <laughs> And uh, again, you know, we haven't said anything about it. If you guys have any shout-outs you want to get on the air, uh, go to e-rev on the QNet Quick uh, Game Surge Networks and uh, hit, m hit me up. My name is Eric, and Anger is in there as well, and we'll get your shout-outs live on the air for you as this one's going to open up 4v4 here. Uh, we're going to have Phantom and Swag on down for each team here. Uh, Kaju on top of his team now, 19 and 17. Uh, he is the only positive member of his team right now for Superior. Uh, while the Impaler has more kills, he has died uh, many, many more times. So uh, Kaju still alive. He is the bomb guy for his team. Crazed, KB, and Failer, and Illusion still up here for the Blight team as uh, Failer is going to take down Tuckman. 
and uh, that pushes the pressure uh, to an extreme limit now to Superior Angers. They are down now, 3v4. They can't let them get another round if they hope to push this into overtime. The kid looking for a peek right now from the A hallway. Uh, KB playing all the way back in drywall. Failer uh, playing into uh, the dock area. Cray's going to move back to back barrels right now. Illusion in front A. Uh, we're going to see Enforcer playing in bathroom. The kid coming in from A hallway. I got to tell you, Anger, they have not gone B enough. They have not gone B enough to get them offset at A. They've gone A plenty of plenty of times. They could have gone B and gotten a couple rounds there, but they have not. As Enforcer is going to fire wildly at somebody playing in the B hallway. Uh, towards the, the cabinet area. Kid going to get a kill on Craze. They have control of the A site now. No, they do not. As Illusion is oh. playing in the front. Enforcer into Illusion. This one's going to come down to the limit here. So it's 1v2. Uh, we're going to see a plant come down here, hopefully really soon here. As uh, Kaju's going to fake this, he gets flashed. Fires wildly as uh, he is being uh, sought after here from KB and Failer. 12 seconds left on the clock here. Fakes once. Looking for a kill in the hallway. KB playing back. Failer going to push the bomb. He's going to get a kill on Enforcer. This one's oh. over. Kaju dies. 16 to 11, ladies and gentlemen, in favor of Blight. And uh, it was closer than it seemed, but that first half really put the top on it. And uh, i got to tell you, it could have gone either way uh, had uh, Superior been on the offensive side first. Anger. I think this match could have gone either way. Yeah, I would, ha I would have to agree with you. But again, Blight going on the offensive of first really had just jumped out with a big lead and I can't say enough now it may be the difference it may not but at least what stood out to me once him was just the movement of crazed he moved into the the crapper area very quickly and really neutralized that central area of the map and gave superior some problems there and he picked up a lot of kills at the beginning on while on the offense and at least in my opinion he would be Iron Man or God of the match at least for this match Again, just the fluidity that he had on this map and getting to where he needed to was crucial to their just to their success in the beginning of this match. Yeah, definitely so. And I would not be surprised if Superior makes their way back up through the losers brackets and we see these two teams again. Um, you know, I, I think they're they're probably the two best teams I've watched. Um, or I, I've had the opportunity to cast anyway. Now I've seen things from both teams. I've seen weaknesses. I've seen strengths. And tonight. I have to say the only weakness coming from the superior team, in my opinion, uh, was the fact that they did not win the knife round. I, I think that was the round that decided the match. So uh, had superior been on the offensive side first, I think they would have won this one. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. As Blight moves on, they are the victor. Credit is due where it's deserved, and they won. They played better tonight. They got the victory. And, uh, you know, they're going to move on, and we'll see what happens coming from that lower bracket. Yeah, and a good thing about this is Superior, even though that they lost here, they're going to have to wait for the rest of the teams that lost prior to them, beat each other up in the loser's bracket, and then they will get the uh, the last man standing. So two two teams enter, one team will leave, at least in the loser's bracket. At least Superior has that on their side. They can you know regain their composure a little bit and get things rolling again and only play one match and then go to you know the winner's bracket just a couple days later. So again, like you were saying, Saying Watson, they could go uh, right back uh, to the finals here, the actual finals, and, and really gain some uh, revenge on Blight. Now, through my infinite wisdom, I want to know what the hell Blight meant. Again, I had no freaking clue. Never heard of the word ever in my life. But, it, I mean, something that frustrates plans or hopes. Uh, something that impairs or destroys. Now, Blight lived up to their name as especially on the offensive side wants him. So, again, you know, you give, uh, you give credit where credit's due, and they lived up to their name big time. You don't see very many teams living up to their name. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, it's, um, it, it's always a, a great thing when you see two evenly matched teams come together like that, and uh, hopefully we continue to see that uh, throughout the loser's bracket into the championship bracket. And uh, just see some good COD 4s. This game, uh, you know, it's drawn to a close here, Anger. It's not the most prestigious season right now. You know, a lot of players have called it quits. A lot of teams have called it quits. We've seen a whole lot of drama and a whole lot of, you know, I got a whole lot of bullshit uh, from, you know, these fantastic teams coming out with all these players. And then they lose once and they die. And, uh, you know, it, it's a shame <laughs> to see that, but we're still seeing good competition in Sevo A. We like to watch it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple seasons here from COD 4. If there's more than one, uh, another season coming, I'm not sure. Between now and COD 6, we'll see. But, uh, you know, stay tuned to EREV, EREV TV for all your COD 4 needs. And, uh, you know, we've had a blast casting this game. We're going to continue to do so. And, uh, Anger, I got like four shout-outs to your 32, so I might as well go first. 
<laughs> yeah, well, just really quick, I want to make a quick comment on what you just stated there. You know, with all these hybrid teams, I, even though the teams, the big teams have quit, you still see various players from various teams uh, joining up as one. I mean, you, again, just a lot of hybrid teams continuing on, and I believe they'll be doing the same in the next coming season until COD 6 comes out. So that's all I really had to say, at least on that subject. But go ahead, want some with your shout out. All right, we'll take a look here as uh, Disarmy Man is going to say, Shout out to Borandy, love you, baby. Mm. Uh, I want to hear from Deterrence Res says, uh, Prediction, Blight 16, uh, Superior 10. That was pretty damn close. Uh, sure Shot uh, says, His team played JCP in lower brackets again, 15-15 overtime, 4-1. Uh, his team won, so just giving us a score update there. Uh, I want to hear from Awakening Simple, Shout out to Senior Coons and all my Frenchy French lovers and Blight Jetmi. Uh, I took French for like, you know, like two years, and, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's not a big deal, but I can say like, you know, est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes, and you know, things like that. So, uh, one here from EBK, Bonjour. shout out to Relay uh, for sounding like a fat ass, but weighs about 80 pounds, holla holla, get dollars, and uh, that's all I got for right now. But again, uh, coming very, very soon to EREV TV, whether you think it's soon or not, in the next couple months... Uh, we got something huge coming, ladies and gentlemen. EREV is going to change, and it's going to change broadcasting game coverage media forever. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to EREV TV. We're going to tease you. We're going to give you little tidbits until it happens. But uh, you guys have stuck with us a long time. Continue to be with us. We'll continue providing you guys uh, fantastic online coverage. And the only company in North America that has brought you any sort of LAN uh, within the last couple years here. So we've covered eight LANs in the last year. Stick with us. We'll bring you guys the goods. Anger, what you got? No, I only got one as uh, we had duplicate uh, shout-outs there, so you beat me, Wansom, tonight, but that's okay. It's all good, Wansom, as we have one here from Tanaka uh, from the COD4 network, a.k.a. the uh, Ninja Strike Force, or I should say slash NSF. I have a special shout-out for Winky, and I'm, I'm not sure if that's Winky from Dynamic or the other Winky, but anyway, come get some ham, and that is from Tanaka. So uh, that's all I have. Again, uh, I, I noticed some of the chit-chattering chit that's going on in our IRC about Blight. So, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, that it is that way. Whether they are or not, I don't know. But, um, again, Blight is still on their way. They're in the finals, regardless of what, what people are saying. So hopefully all these uh, so-called allegations that are going on, hopefully they can be ignored. And they, you know, again, very good team. Um, I've just seen just really great play from them and just really, I'm sure, good communication. I'm going to watch the archive and listen to uh, their uh, war room and see what type of communication they got going on. But Wansom, you would have to say by the way that they moved on the map, at least on Vacant, uh, again, they, they just have it really going on and that's why they're in the finals. Definitely so. And, and again, i got to say, and, and I will reiterate it, I, I'm not playing favorites with anybody, but that, that match could have gone either way. Uh, depending on who won that knife round, but needless to say, uh, Blight won the knife round, so they deserve to take offensive first, and they won the map, and uh, they're going on to the SIBO Championship, so uh, good luck to Superior, we'll see if they come through, congratulations to Blight, and I have an announcement here real quick, uh, the later match has been cancelled, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Paragon vs. Vindicated has been cancelled, uh, due to, uh, you know, nothing at, on the E-Ref side, so, uh, Paragon vs. Vindicated has been cancelled, so uh, just so you guys know that, uh, and uh, we'll, whenever that one does happen, we'll be sure to cast it for you guys. So, uh, that is that, and uh, I got nothing, Anger. Alright, and uh, that is pretty much it. So, uh, kitties, the final score here between Blight and Superior, Blight takes this 16-11 to 11 and moves on to the grand finals of the SIBO O uh, tournament here, as Superior will go to the loser's bracket again. Superior has really nothing to worry about, at least for a few days, until they get the, the last man standing out of the loser's bracket. They will play, I believe it's a best of three for the lower bracket finals, and then in a couple of days they will play uh, Blight, or at least the winner of that loser bracket match finals will play the winner, or will play Blight here as I finally get it situated here. Uh, we'll play Blight in the uh, overall finals, so something to look forward to. Again, uh, catch all the matches here. We will be doing some... TF2 action coming up very soon, uh, and once Left 4 Dead gets their crap together and we can view it, it we'll definitely be casting it. I can't wait for that one, Wansom, as you're a terrible Left 4 Dead player along with Kaju. So anyway, I won't go on any further, Wansom. I just got I'm just furious. You're, you, you're a great I, I can't talk to you for at least 30 minutes. <laughs>
<laughs> all right for myself anger wants him and on the video limic and we, again we apologize for the lag uh, we will take care of that for the next cats until next time adios